We are cringing. I love it. It, it, it literally it. makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm sweating. Because Do you just want to get in there? Right, and tell I just want to say, read a room. Learn how to read a room. He's looking at you like, is this chick for real? Yeah. Like, he's, he, his face is like the will to live. He, he's in shock, but also like. <laughs> I get where she's coming from, though. You can yeah. tell that she's been burnt a lot in relationships. Because yeah. she tells everyone and she's, that. Well, yeah. And that she's say. been hurt. So she, her new approach, I guess, is to just, like, verbally diarrhea it all out and then see if they still like you after you've told them every bad thing about yourself, then he's the one. I and really I don't... relate to Laura. But I think I, she I doesn't... Really relate. Okay, but no, she no, doesn't no. do it in a, this is me, this is what I want. She doesn't own it. She, she does she, it in a baby voice. Like, I her. totally... <laughs> must have been week <laughs> week one I was probably discussing baby names with Joe. Like, <laughs> I love her. She is what, like, honestly... Oh, no, I really like she's her, so, but I, I agree think with she's Kelly. Friendly. I think she thinks she's owning it, but she's you not You own everything it. you say, and that's why no, I love you and I think that you're great. <laughs> oh, no, it's true. Like, you say it and you own who you are and what you say. She's not owning it when she says it. And oh. she's, like, hoping for the best with it. And she's one of my favourite people in the house. I really I like her. I think she's her. the most she's genuine. Kind. I think she's, she's going to win. Do you? Yes. I think I she's think the most genuine really... one in there. Yeah. Whenever there's just a problem, she's the first bit. to give advice and be there to yeah. comfort everyone. And it... when, when I saw that, like, I was cringing like you. I was like, oh, my God, don't do that. And then I actually had a thought, is she, is, does she know the fake baby's coming? And she's actually talking about the yeah, fake baby. Yeah, I thought baby. that. Is it produced so that maybe, maybe that was said after just to the put fake baby? Story, girl. No, sorry. <laughs> just to be fair to her, yeah. but also she, I, that she has had lots of conversations where she said, "Well, I've been dumped lots of times." But it's the baby. It's not the way she's. And then you can she see the, the shutters baby voice. come down. She's like. Oh, I've been hurt. Before. I don't know what I'm yeah. really I do relate the baby to voice. that though. I do the baby voice. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just said that. Go on, do it. Oh. I do it with my dad when I, I want to get away just, with something. Why is the baby's head hanging off? And get me some wild What's wrong with your baby's head? 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 Every time, whatever, I go, oh, oh. why? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if I did that with Gary, he would go, where is Jane and what's he done with her? <laughs> so I'm not really used to baby You voice. must have something, though. I've got the upside-down frown, like, I always pull <laughs> this that? up. That's why I can't have what's both the upside down frown? It's like uh, opposite. It's not a frown, it's like this. Oh, yeah, I've seen like, you do that. And I can't get anything done to my face, because otherwise I'll lose my upside-down <laughs> frown. And I can't ask for anything when I can't Will do he do it? So that's I do equivalent. it to my yeah. dog. I told oh, baby voice. Yeah. What do you want from your dog? Well, no, because like, I get so excited to see her. So I've got like this dog voice that's like a baby voice. Are you telling me you've never done the baby voice? No, to, to my dad. Something? I do. And well, I that's do. where we learn it with dads. I am always like, oh, please. It's like one of them ones. <laughs> but like, but I do it to my dog, not. And my dad, and that's it. Going back to the things not to say on a first date, um, we've had some amazingly funny ones. So, Samantha. A guy was talking non-stop about his foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> We've never had a second date. Debbie, he said... This is the, the guy arriving for her date. He said to her, my mum's just dropped me off. That's her at the bar. Oh, oh, do you know? Yes! I would die. I that would literally die. My worst nightmare, cos mums and their sons. But also, I love this one, Treasy. Great name, by the way. Um, said uh, the, the first thing that the man said to her was, "Have you ever had an STI?" <gasps> I would want to ask that question, though. I think trees. Well, I think you've got to take the... it. First no, you know what? Actually, you've never met a man that's had one. Really? No, I thought. Okay, I thought I was thinking of a UTI. No, no mind. Yes, <laughs> I'm thinking of a UTI. <laughs> no, I was just like, wait, hold on. Urinary tract infection. Oh. Oh. But like, <laughs> girls get that lot. <laughs> 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 But, like, if you ever had an STI, it would be, like, what kind of girl have you been with before? Do you know what, though? I yeah. think it's, lots of people get STIs and not because they sleep around, just because they're prevalent. They could say one, and one if it's person. going well, I do think it's a really sensible and empowered question to ask somebody. Is like, have you... I thought it was commonplace well, in America you're gonna get for close. people to say, here's my paperwork to show I don't have an STI. Is it not? I think that's more common here. Really? Yeah. I asked Joe. People, my, my friends here get I'll, checked I'll, way I'll... more than my friends in LA. You had a favourite one here, didn't you? Um, mine... It... Where is Thalassa. it? Thalassa. Was it Thalassa? Thalassa. No, oh, yeah. He asked if I could replace my glasses with contact lenses. <gasps> I'd be like, get out of here. Oh, oh, my God. God. 
Oh, yeah. wow. There's the undermining starting yeah. straight there. I must mm -hmm. say, though, I do lo I love the way that Laura just puts it all out there on the surface. When I first met Joe, the, honestly, and this is when he asked me on my first date, he'll admit this as well. The first thing I said to him was, I've got two cats, two dogs, uh, uh, two kids, two cats, a, uh, a dog and a mortgage. Are you sure you want to take me out on a date? Because I come with so much more. You are. Yeah, mm. but, that, but I was like, also, I want loads of kids. I want to get married. No, but that's I very like... attractive. The way you just said that's very attractive. Mm. If you, I really, and I always advise all my friends, <gasps> don't on a first date say, I've been really badly treated, because you open the door for it to happen to you. This is actually go on, my favourite one. Then. You're excited, go on. Susan, <laughs> I brought my dad with me for support. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, you need to come and talk to us. No! no. <laughs> I do always wheel my dad out, though, like, third day in. I, like, just because I think if my partner that would be the last with my thing dad, I did. that's a really important part but of the relationship for me. Probably right at the beginning, though, because that would be a deal-breaker for me. If they did, if my dad didn't like him or they didn't like my dad, True. it would be a deal-breaker. So what's the point? Everything you've said is empowered and great. Keep on doing it.